Well, good evening. Hello. Hi, Instagram, and hello. Uh, let me check you. I got YouTube, I got Instagram, and I got Facebook going. Oh, good, a simulcast. And uh, I know there's a better technological way to do this, but I'm using uh, three different camera sources trying to get the same picture. So that's quite a challenge. Well, hi, guys. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on. I've been so uh, frantically, wonderfully busy with my uh, daily Zooms. I've been doing a lot of uh, drawing with my uh, Fine Arts Academy. <laughs> and I've been having so much fun. I've been doing so many of these dare to draw virtual school assemblies for schools all over the world. I actually have, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of these recorded. And so if you are at a, uh, if you are a parent with a school, a PTA, an administrator, I can send you a Zoom link to a 45, 55 minute assembly and you can just uh, check it out and see how it works at these other schools. Maybe it's something that you might be interested in your school. I'm going to show you tonight a, um, a week, this past week. Hi, hello. Our, um, I'm looking at Mary Jo's comment. Hi, Mary Jo. Good to see you there on YouTube. And uh, uh, hi, Facebook. How's anybody? I got a few people on Facebook, too. And how you doing, Instagram? Let me see here. Uh, well, good. All right. This is our, our doing a Friday night special. Hey, there's Fatima. Good to see you. So, uh I, I'm going to show you a few of the uh, drawings we did from our uh, school assemblies. I'm going to show you this last week's drawing we did with the Fine Arts Academy. Now, and also I'm going to show you this monthly schedule that we have coming up in October. It's so amazing. We have so many special featured guest artists. And I want to do a drawing tonight. I'm going to let you guys decide which drawing that you, you would like to do. So, uh, uh, of course, everything's all inspired from my book, You Can Draw in 30 Days. I hope you guys have a copy of this. If you can't get it on Amazon, you can get it from uh, barnesandnoble.com or any of your other uh, favorite re retailers. I know amazon.com. I tried to get a couple copies, and they didn't have it available. They're sold out. So I went to barnesandnoble.com and were able to get it. So <laughs> you get your copy of that. But <clears throat> I don't know if you were uh, aware, but I have a bunch of other books. I have my uh, creatures. These are all available at Barnes & Noble and at uh, Amazon.com. Crazy Kidders in the Draw 3D books. Uh, these are all, look at this, really good, great resources for you. Of course, I'm going to say that. I wrote these books. And I'm making good progress. I am almost, almost, almost done. We're on the final stages. And thank you for my volunteer editors. We're almost uh ready for the, my book, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. I know some of you have been waiting, waiting, waiting so patiently for this this book right here. It's the sister book. I have, uh, you know, I have the, the my three. And let me, let me put these, I love showing my sister books here. So this was my first book right here. You can draw in uh, 30 minutes. So I'm trying to find the card here for it. Where is that card? Where is my little you can draw in 30 minutes? Hello. Look at I have so many cards here. I I misplaced them. Um ah, I can't find it now. So, but you know, this is this is the book. You can draw in 30 days was the first one. You can draw in 30 minutes. This is gonna be as big as this one. And then my uh <coughs> this one right here. There you go. You can draw in 30 minutes. That's the second one. And then I'm working on the third one right here. See that? The trio. Isn't that cool? It's going to be so cool. Yeah, I'm just uh, tickled pink about that. A little tired. I've been I've been meaning to get live ever since 7.30 since I finished my um, Fine Arts Academy class. Let me show you what we did this week in our Fine Arts Academy. I think you guys would uh, enjoy seeing this. Isn't this cool? Uh, Here's uh, one lesson we did. I'll just go take you through it. These are one-hour classes. During the course of the week, <clears throat> excuse me, I do uh, live classes on Monday, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 6.30 Central Time. Tuesdays through Friday, we do 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes at noon when we have a special featured guest from uh, around the world, from uh, Europe or from the uh, 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 Eastern Europe or from Australia, we'll do it earlier. Um, and then we do another one at six, at four o'clock and at 6.30. So uh, it's a busy, fun week. And next week, you guys, we're going to do a, a whole week. If you want a free 
If you guys want a free week with my Fine Arts Academy, to, it's Friends and Family Week next week. Isn't that cool? Friends and Family. You can send me an email, and I'll send you a link for the whole week. You can come Monday through Friday. And uh, here's uh, – I'll come back. I'll show you this again. But here's our schedule. Check this out. This is our schedule for – uh, let me see if I can get it so both cameras can see it. I think i got to lighten this one up, darken up just a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. So look, at we have uh, William Foster from NASA. Uh, he's the ground control for the International Space Station. I'm going to be drawing images of um, a space station and – He's going to uh, answer questions and be able to be on Zoom live with us. It's so cool. Clive Goddard, he's he, he's not from Australia. He's from Oxford, England, and he, draw, he draws Australian theme cartoons, and it's going to be re re really cool. Uh, I, I put him as an Australian artist. He lives in Oxford, England. He's, he's coming up this Monday. Brandon Ray, a famous paper animator. He's going to be uh, showing us. He's just he's on, famous all over the world. Joe Gorey, he's my co-star. From the show The Secret City. He's my co-star from The Secret City. And he's going to come again, back again by popular demand. Uh, he was uh, with me during th this show here, The Secret City. And uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw my Imagination Station. You guys ever see that Imagination Station? This this show right here is on Amazon Prime. But you can see some of The Secret City episodes on the P PBS app. If you download the PBS app. We've got uh, Joe Gore. We have Aaron Brown, very, very successful author, teaching writing. Blythe uh, Zimmel, she's going to be teaching photography, how to use your smartphone to do amazing phot photographs. Lauren Taylor, an extraordinary art, a visual arts educator. I have enjoyed watching her teach on Zoom, and I just I love her classes. So does my my eighteen year old son, Emily Albright, YouTube internet sensation. She teaches drawing and painting and all forms of creative. So the, this is, and we have two more artists coming. I think we're going to have a not Ronan coming this month and also Tim Decker from Disney coming. I'm going to fill this up. We keep having more people sign, come up here. And this is our, <coughs> this is our schedule for October. I think I'm taking notes. I shouldn't be taking notes on this, but look at it's all color coded. So you guys, this is on the website. I hope you guys go to my website and check it out here. Hey, Mel. Parks, how are you? Richard Alvin. Uh, I do. I I have written the fact here to talking about fish. I love you, said Richard. Look at this. This is Richard's fish he sent us. Richard, thank you for the fish. I, I just I love this. I show this to kids all the time with the overlapping the shading and the uh, nice rippled scroll. I sure I love that. Thanks for mailing that in to me, Richard. All right, now. So this is coming up. Richard, you got to send in for Richard, send in for a free link for the whole week, Monday through Friday. You can come five hours, six hours, seven hours a day with me and draw. Same with you, uh, Bugshot and John Kim and all you guys on uh, T.S. Shaw, Mr. Vince, Jolene, Dennis uh, W. Good. I hope all of you guys send, send me an email to get a free week link, a free family and friends link. Marcus.com. Here's what we drew last week. We drew the pelican and the wave, and we drew the apple. And look at this. Isn't, aren't these fun? Look at these drawings. We drew uh, uh, the termite, and we drew the, the, the little squid guy and the furry guy. Then, then I then I, uh, I emphasized some of these a little more about using foreshortening and splain. See how that stays within a foreshortened circle? See how the octopus, the, the feet are splayed down their flattened out that's for shortening the shadow underneath the uh up here let me move this up so you can see it. the shadow that's up underneath here to make those teeth and we can draw that if you want we can draw these three you guys want to draw some termites flying that's pretty cool we could draw those if you want i'm going to put that on top i think we might do that either that or we can do the octopus what do you guys want to draw tonight what do you want to draw you want to draw three termites that and that this termite right here the big termite butt and they're like hovering or we can draw the octopus with displayed uh, legs. What do you guys, it's up to you guys. I'll let you guys vote on that. The tree root is an application of taking that foreshort and spreading out and keeping it within these drawing direction compass rules. That was another hour lesson. This was a birthday. This was Caitlin's birthday in her class. 
And so we, we drew her a super cool birthday cake. And this is all live on Zoom, you guys. This is all live on Zoom. And then we drew her a pile of presents with her stuffed giraffe and her shark and her teddy bear. <laughs> it's really cool. And uh, one of my students, uh, Una, oh, she always wants to draw a burger. Fatima, Fatima always wants to draw a burger. So we finally drew a hamburger. And Caitlin wants an aquarium. So we drew her an aquarium. And uh, we all decided to give her a big giant rocking horse, like a giant horse. And that's Caitlin, her brother, Jonathan. So we have a lot of fun during our Zoom live classes. And we're going to have a lot of fun next week. I hope you send me an email and ask for a request. Now, this is actually a school assembly that I did. And I'm going to see if I can pull this out here. Maybe zoom that camera out just a bit. This is actually a school assembly an hour. And I invited all my Art Academy kids to come on. And if you guys would like to see a link of this, I can send you a free link. It's like 50 minutes long. It's a Zoom link. And that's not it. It's this one. And this is the school I do. I've been doing uh, so many of these school assemblies. And I would love to do a virtual school assembly at your school. And we cut our prices in half during this uh, COVID time. So it's uh, economical. It's reasonable. And you get, to, you get a link to share with your kids. And you can keep – you can actually download the assembly once you uh, – uh, have my program and you can put it on your school website and keep it up there all year and you go back to it over and over again. <clears throat> now this free link coming up next week that includes Mighty Mondays. It's all day Monday and it's all day next week. Our free family and friends week. It's good for schools too. If you're a school teacher or a parent and you want your school's teachers to know about it, send them a note. I will, I have room. I can have uh, over, I can have over 500 I think I can have up to 750 um, logins on my Zoom now. I upgraded. Ooh, I upgraded it. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. It was really, really cool. Um, one second here. And um, I'm uh, one second here. I got to just write, write a note. All right. So, um, all right. You can, I got distracted. My, uh, uh, the, the nurse called from my son about the medication. So I had to take care of that. All right. So I hope you guys send me a note for an email link and I'll send you the link and you can watch an actual assembly of zoom. All right. So that was that, what that one was. <laughs> well, this was actually the second one. See, this was, uh, what this you schools usually get two one hour programs. So this is a one hour for the younger. These are for the babies, the pre-K, the kindergarten, first, second grade. And then this one was for the third, fourth, and fifth grade <laughs> um, kids. I love Machado students. They did so great. And then we uh, we did sharks. This Now, this one, I actually put this hour lesson up on Facebook. So <laughs> if you guys enjoy sharks, <clears throat> check that out. Well, you can watch that one. It's a, it's a free link that I put up, an hour lesson for you guys. And... Uh, this was, I was thinking about drawing this tonight, this uh, this cool Seymour's cousin, like the Venus fly, feed me. And then we drew the little super kid flying over the city. And then we did a ladybug highway. This is all ladybugs going back a four shortened uh, road. We just had such a great week. And that, that was another hour. We just redid the sharks because it was so much fun. Now, this was this evening. This evening, we did this, our 630 class. And I did one point perspective. You see this? Let me see if I can get a position. I put everything lining up to this one point perspective. And we had, we drew a conference table with everybody in the class lined up at the table. And there's me drawing on a big screen TV and a big crowd of people at the window trying to draw too. Wasn't that fun? That was a really fun one. And this was uh, earlier today. We did a one point perspective here where it's their, um, where they're, everything lined up to this point for the room. And this was the, the student here drawing. And they've been drawing for 37 hours straight. And look at their their bed's a mess, and there's drawings and pencils all over the floor. And this student had had like Da Vinci put drawings up on the roof. Isn't that fun? <clears throat> then we drew a little doggy right here. Isn't that fun? The little doggy. And uh, we did two point perspective of the word draw. Very very cool. Now remember, if you want to draw the shark lesson, just go to my Facebook link. That it's just. Uh, 
it's just back. Uh, look down on the Facebook, scroll down, and you, there's a free Zoom link, and you don't need a passcode. And if you want next week, if you want to come next week for a whole week to see uh, some of these guest artists, there's the chart. This is on my website at markkistler.com, okay? <clears throat> www.markkistler.com, right there. And uh, there it is. Hey, guys. I, I'm so glad you guys joined me tonight. I hope you guys can do that drawing. There's a free hour lesson of sharks. I think you'll enjoy it. And um, I'll try to come on tomorrow and do a, a drawing. Maybe you guys, if you want to draw those termites or if you want to draw um, uh, the that Venus flytrap, Seymour's cousin, or any of those drawings you saw. So I certainly hope that you guys uh, come to draw3d.com. Um, if you guys want to draw some more some more lessons, I got free lessons up here at draw3d.com. And draw3d.com is uh, my collaboration with NASA. Here's me. This is what I did here. Look at my draw3d collaborating with NASA and go draw Artemis. See, NASA's team, Artemis, Mission to the Moon. We did eight or we did seven one-hour episodes featuring components of going to the moon and drawing. It's amazing. It's a website uh, so, uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. Go to Draw Artemis Live. Check it out. There's uh, seven episodes. They're wonderful. <clears throat> now, if you just want to do some free drawing lessons, I put, I think out of the 300 lessons on here, I think there's about 10 free lessons. You can check them out. There's also some great free printables on that one, draw3d.com. Well, guys, hey, thank you for spending a few um, minutes with me looking at our art gallery from this week. And uh, log on this weekend with me. I'm going to do a couple of drawing lessons this weekend. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay, go draw the sharks now. <laughs>